And we have the Empire kicking around over here. We had a bunch of Dark Elves attack us, but they... This is beneath me. They, like, attacked us, and then they got crumped by the Empire. So now they're retreating. You overreach! This will fail. Hey, Deathshot. How's it going? No. And Skaven Dan. <laughs> Those are some great emotes, Skaven Dan. Ah, all right. Looking a lot like your Dark Elf Toilet Bowl defense? A bit. Unfortunately. All right, so we're going to roll on Hag Hall here. Let's go. You're a bit tired? Mm. It's a long day or uh, anything in particular going on? Yeah, we took, we've only do not own two settlements on Uthwan, and that's because, um, the Empire took those settle, uh, took those settlements, essentially, when Chaos rolled through before, my gosh, hiccups. But otherwise, otherwise we own all of Uthwan. The elves have run out of dudes they can confederate to stay alive as well, so... Once we kill these elves in the north here, there's some elves in the jungles of Lustria, but that's it. That's the only el high elves that are left on the map. Uh, it's 9 a.m. here, and my friend called me awake because we were going climbing at 10 p.m., and he thought it was 10 a.m. Ah, I see. Yeah, I, I could... I could see how there'd be a problem. I'm ready! Forward! I'm gonna move these guys out here, actually. We'll shoot this tower down. We'll just have Kotep shoot these guys on the wall. Blammo. I actually could move up there and hit him with the, uh... Him with the sandstorm as well, actually. Might do that. Proceed. Seeing as how I have sandstorm available. Very well. Don't get many other other Very opportunities to use it. It's called bouldering, similar to wall climbing, just less high without ropes and more focused on core strength. Yeah, yeah. done rock climbing for the army before. It's pretty fun. It is tiring. Managed to cut the hell out of my hand one time while I was climbing up. Put my hand into a crack and just blood just everywhere. <laughs> like, well, shit. <laughs> Fortnite rock, yeah. Something like that. Makes sense. Just try not bleeding. But it's rather annoying because the rock surface the the rock surface becomes really slippery when it's covered in blood. <laughs> Makes it a lot harder to climb. So yeah, I, I agree with you. It's generally a bad plan overall. I completely expect to not be able to move my forearms tomorrow due to the soreness. Yeah, it activates a lot of your body, too. Like, it's, it's a lot of work. Uh. 
I'm not a fool, you're a fool. Here, have some souls. Anyway, here's Broken Wall. Alright, you guys move up here. You move these guys up too to shoot. Cross that way. So watch a video on dudes injecting oil into their muscles to make them look like giant bulge. Oh, yeah, I think that's a that's like a Russian thing, isn't it? Primarily. It's pretty dangerous too, and it doesn't actually like do anything besides like aesthetically make you look like you have big muscles. It doesn't actually make you have big muscles. Yeah, it's pretty freaky looking too, in all honesty. Yeah, it's moved into the Middle East and Indian peeps. Oh, really? It's unfortunate. Them. What are we shooting at? We are lost. God. Screw you, White Lines of Trace. Alright, well. Just gotta sit here and shoot. Alright, I actually have some arrows firing back at me. Accidentally broke the door down. That works. Contap has got some major killage going on here. Just freaking, just freaking destroying people. 400. How much damage does he dealt? 25k. Jeebus. Nice missile resist. <laughs> oh no, all our ammo. Crap. Okay. Send in the plebs. Well, I've got another tor tornado I could cast to people as well. Let's do that. White lands aren't so white anymore. Yeah. Okay. Move. I'm gonna paint this castle in a new color called Hint of Brain. You guys go in there. You guys go in there. Contact back over here. Do, 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 do. Where's my big boy at? You, come here. Also you. Let's throw you guys up there. Push you guys in there. Time warp this whole mess. Hello, random white lines of trace. Heroic killing blow. Man. 725. Jeez, Liz. Alright, always got horsey boys up here, but we're running our uh, pole arms at him, so. I feel like those guys are probably going to fare very well. Nope, they didn't. <laughs> They're probably on a watch list. 
Also, you cannot buy depleted uranium on eBay. Plenty of sex toys, toys though. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> I mean, these things don't surprise me very much. Nine grand. Yeah. And a brass cleaver. There we go. Hag Hall is another th place we needed for objective purposes, so... 2,000 on the repair cost there. You know what? We're not repairing that. Parched Oasis? Sweet. Keep shoving him up north here as well. Hmm. We got here. We gotta wait for this event to be over. How long until this event is done? Nine turns. Yeesh. Yeesh. So much public order penalty until then. Well, let's try to level that place up at least. Um, Evershale. We should get walls around Evershale. Kaldor. Level Kaldor back up. Eat thing. Isthmus of Lustria. I suppose we could do that for cash purposes. Something interesting, and I will look it up to see if I can buy it. No depreciated uranium sex toy. Exactly what I was thinking. It's got an email from Twitch to, in fact, about reporting that bot. And that they have acted on the report. Hell yeah. Is this the pre-update campaign or are you, able to, or are you doing a new one? This is a campaign from before the update happened. But some of the stuff does carry over. Like the damage numbers and things like that. I can look at that stuff. But the new factions are not in it. That being said, at the point where this campaign was... Um, the new factions probably wouldn't have been, like, too much of a big thing anyway. You're welcome, Bezos, for helping you sh keep your streaming platform bot free. <laughs> Should pay you or something. Um. Oh yeah, Clerkeron. We're working our way up there. We're getting back to Clerkeron. <laughs> Hmm. I'm gonna send him this way. Go check things out down here, see what's up. Incantation is not ready. Let's do that. There we go. Basically, we're just buying up a bunch of units with him, so when my other guys come back, we can throw units into those armies, because we got, what? Uh... It's not going to tell me how many turns it is that they're still dead for? Address me as your highness. Are they back already? Okay, yeah, three turns, two turns, two turns, right. There's a problem with your computer. You don't have robocalls in Norway? Yeah, I hear that other countries actually do something about those. You all trolling those calls? Sale calls are legal on landlines, but illegal for cell phones. I had one of those scammers curse out my friend, gave him my phone. Hang on a second. Um... My phone had to play Too with them while I, I was cooking. Awake the necro sphinx. Right, I got these two Awake necro the as well that we'll have to put in armies once the armies come back up. That army's got necro in it already. Rises from the Let's head over here, I guess. Serve me. I am a queen. I am a Hope this army doesn't come back and murder us.
should have enough Empire guys the around Empire. to make it not a huge problem, I would think. <laughs> I was trying to make you open up the comp and let them slave it. Yep. They were mad. I think that's probably all I'm going to be able to do for the turn. Looking like. I do gotta watch these rebellions, though. This has how many turns on it? 12 turns? Okay, well, that will be up before the 12 turns is up, so that's good. Um, it's my public order here, though. Events, 8... So it's only at 8, which means it'll go to 0 at least. That's going to be a while. Titan Peaks. We're only at negative 4, so that'll be 20 turns. That'll be fine. Hearth Q. This could be a problem, though. That's 7 turns. So we'll have to keep an eye on that. Doom Glades. We just captured that. Okay, that's going to be 36 turns. That's not a problem. Tor Murph is actually going to rebel in two turns. Right. So that... Let's see if I get a Lord over here real quick. Got anybody that helps public order? Well, Panet does. I'll probably just ditch him anyway, so let's pop... Let's throw Panet out here real quick. Let's toss a bunch of skelly boys in with him for the moment. He's just gonna he's just there to hold down the public order problems. Otherwise we should be fine. If you don't fall for the first five seconds, you are a waste of time. And yet they'll stay on the line for like freaking hours and hours and hours if they think they can get you. Which is craziness. Move to Norway, it doesn't suck here. Okay, the weather sucks sometimes. <laughs> we left in a place that only kind of sucks. Move to the Netherlands. Here, the Netherlands are nice. There, the Warriors of Chaos got destroyed. So I wonder if that means Archeon's dead now? Are we in Age of Peace now? Country has the most redheads? Probably Ireland. <laughs> yeah. If we were to go by stereotyping, I would say yeah, it's Ireland. But... Mm. Okay, well not in an age of peace. Well I guess those other smaller factions need to get destroyed. Yet. You know, at least as Kotep, I don't need to kill Archeon. Thank goodness for that. Small blessings. Let's get Blessing of Asaph. Hey, Frankie. Uh, is Mortal Empires campaign? It is, yes. I like it here in the Netherlands, but the weed thing is really overblown, if you ask me. It's legal here. So many people just don't care. I played the Vortex. I played uh, multiple campaigns on the Vortex. I reign to be trusted. You have a particular question, or are you just uh, just asking? Oh, absolutely! You complete the final ritual. Um, you have to do a final battle thing. You have to stave off the enemies, and then you have to do a final battle. Which is not, like, insanely difficult. They made it harder than it used to be, but it's not crazy hard. As long as you have a good late-tier armor, you'll be fine. Uh, started this game for the first time. Started as Mazamundi. I am on Tier 7 with Axolotl Province completely captured, wondering where to go from here. 
should I be getting another lord ASAP? Uh, if you have an entire province captured, you probably could get another lord. Um, and you could start pushing her pushing your neighbors around a bit if you wanted to. You could either you could either shove down into the jungles or you could try to push around the dark elves. Um the high elves aren't being angry at you obviously. You could try to make allies with the high elves and push around the dark elves. Some you could do. Um The high elves though are a competitor for the vortex, so you've got that problem if you're playing vortex. Ah. Uh. So I have to make sure my armies are at the Vortex or to replenish tell You'll just teleport. Yeah, you don't have to worry about being at the Vortex. Yeah, you can only use the one battle in the final... Or one army in the final battle. Uh... Do, 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 do. Any recommendation which type of lord to go for? Uh... I usually go for the, like, Saurus... Guy. Um... But the slan are not too bad anymore. Like, if you get a good roll on a slan, they can be pretty strong. Yeah, if you get a Gen 2 slan, it's really good. Okay, my main army has our, is ready to be teleported. Okay, yeah, rock and roll then. Address me as your highness. Uh, obviously, you have to finish the ritual first, though, right? Make Because if you're, if you're... The ritual, when you set it off, will obviously do the whole ritual thing. Um, where you get to, you have to fight off armies until it finishes. Attack and destroy. So make sure you're ready for that, destroy. obviously, if, you're, if you haven't done that bit yet. Also, random vampire coast lady sailed into the province, but if I attack her, I go to war. Should I do it? It depends if you want to deal with war. being at war with the for vampire Nevada. coast. Vampire Coast is not usually particularly strong, so you'd probably be fine, but you have to deal with fighting them, obviously, at that point. Yeah, Source Lord is pretty good, too. Hey, not a problem. Yeah, my army just got the plague, so I need to pull them back for a few turns away from completing the ritual. Gotcha. I think you have, like, ten turns or something like that after you complete the ritual, if I remember cr properly, to actually, like, do the final battle. Uh, so, like, even if you're not ready to do the final battle right when the ritual completes, you're still not, like, screwed. Endgame Blizzard armies do not really have inf any infantry, by the way. So about all dinos. It, I mean, yeah, you could get... You could basically get a monster army with the Lizardmen. Um, Saurus Warriors are great infantry for the entire game, though. Like, Source Warriors with shields, you can use for the entire game. As a matter of fact, in some ways, they're better than, um, they're better than the Temple Guard. If you get a, if you get blessed Source Warriors with shields, those guys, like, actually, I think those guys are better than Temple Guard, unless you're hitting a big unit. Ah, bless Source Warriors with shields are so good. Yeah, yeah, if other factions are close to finishing their ritual, then you just have to do another final battle with them. If you beat them, then you're good. Immortality and power. Immortality and power. Can't go wrong with Skaven Dan Zero Upkeep Dino Army, right? You're not wrong. Let's fix that up. Oh, not abandoned. Nope, 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 nope. That's what I wanted. There we go. Where is this? I like that, though. I haven't ever tried to abandon a province a province before, but look at this. Like, this is... This is really good. Look at this UI. I do this, and it's like, abandoning! It makes it, like, super obvious that you've... That you may have made it a whoopsie, right? I like that. Good job, whoever made that UI. Tomb King of <laughs> Remember, at all times, your players are barely paying attention. Make make it obvious. Uh, it's mostly an AP thing for the Temple Guard. The thing is, with Blessed Source Warriors, Blessed Source Warriors have insane armor piercing. They just... 
uh, it's basically 50-50 with them. They have this the equal armor piercing to their weapon damage. In some cases, more, I think, if you have enough bonuses. So you don't really need the armor. With Blessaurus Warriors, they have the armor piercing. Any type of army composition for the final battle, playing as Tyrion. Like, should I spam Star Dragons or go for a balanced melee cav? Archers. Star Dragons, Phoenix Guard, Ignore Cav, Sisters, um, if you have them. Casters, obviously. Priest King. Uh, no, Phoenix Guard. Sorry, I think I just said Phoenix. Yeah, Phoenix Guard. You can have like four, four units, five units of those. So usually I have like, usually I have like four Star Dragons and a Fe and a blue Phoenix to like buff the Star Dragons, um, and then. Usually like four or five Phoenix Guard, and then a bunch of sisters for blasting people with armor-piercing arrows. Petra watches. It's usually a fairly good meme. Find my harem. Find my harem. Mm. Not those. Not those. Yeah, we'll get a couple of these. There's more of those. There we go. Cool. cool, cool. Should be able to level this place out. What? Yeah. What we got going on down here? Of greatest dynasty. Two units here yet. Let's get another one of those, I guess. Got one of those. My work suffers. Easy campaign, normal battle. It's my first in this game after losing 1,200 hours in 3K. Gotcha. It is. It's a beret. Um, it's not a military issue beret, but is it is a beret? Yeah, and there's uh, there's a link to the website. It's a Kangol beret. Submit to your king. Summon them. My will. What do I want to do here? I should look at these places that have low... I should run through back through my low public order places real quick just to double check. Make sure there's not anything I can build to help that situation. <sighs> could get this, I suppose. Or we could finally get something to build scorpions. Have it, let's go. I cannot perform under such conditions. I cannot perform under such conditions. I thought it was a fedora. It's a head sock, man. <laughs> uh, let's see, did I miss a question in here? Dragons and guards, breath people with four land dragons. Yeah, be careful you don't breath your own units, though. They, the dragon breath attack can go back into your own guys. So make sure you breath attack across the front of your front line. Don't breathe back into your line. Um, I just had to use the head sock command in this case. <laughs> uh, something I always just like about Toon Kings is there got no tearing up buildings. Oh, what do you mean, like, uh, to improve, um, like, the, uh, like, level of your units or whatever when you build them? Or what, what are you talking about? Such ugly elves. Such ugly elves. Yeah, you, you're not playing on Legendary. You can save before these fights. So, yeah, might as, might as well save as well, for sure. From the sand. What is this Tiny Butt's deal, anyways? He's like, oh, he's a second dynasty guy, right? I have like no followers. Instead, every single entity creature has its own building. You could tear up the barracks, you could tear up the Ushapti, but the, yeah, the big dudes have just have their own buildings, which in some ways is better. 
Because there are definitely factions that you have tearing up, but the only reason you build the building is to uh, to get the big monster anyway, so it might as well just be one building. Yeah, but yeah, you said single entity, so yeah. Uh, if you does not do anything, you replace it. If you save a couple of turns before, read the description of the building. This building's literally the unit for tier 5 statues. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I suppose it's just building. It's literally just building the statue of the Decker Finks or the uh, War Sphinx. So it's not even a building, it's just building the statue. <laughs> so it can be made into a living thing. Who commissions me? Who commissions me. My dynasty get any better troops with them? This is probably about as good as this army's gonna get at the moment. I am but a struggling artist. Well, I kinda wanna stay here because. The freaking public order here is just tanking really hard. This negative eight public order for eight turns is kind of a hard thing to deal with. Man, that military actions Champion against... You come to Britonia, stranger. Military actions against the High Elves is really, really pissing off the off Corone right now. Come on, Corone, do not attack me. I need to finish off these High Elves so Corone stops being pissy. Just make peace with the High Elves. <laughs> right. <laughs> Good plan. Well, what are they at right now? How, how badly do they hate me? Oh, it's actually a lot less than I thought it would be, considering I've been murdering them so hard. I like it how the treaties with um, the Wood Elves is just making them mad. <laughs> <laughs> Screw you and your Wood Elf treaties. They wound my ego. Though I think that's, once again, probably all we're going to do for this turn. We're just kind of waiting for my other guys to come back to life here. I got like two or three turns on those guys. Then we might get them all I suited up here and head them south to deal with the last few High Elf settlements provided they don't get crumped by other people that are around them. If I do go into here, I'm just going to burn these down. I'm just going to like start up, probably start up here, go in, drop in, and just start burning everything because I don't want to have settlements in here. Ooh. There is a book here, though. There is a book on a gash chilling right there. All right. You have 500k gold. No. Random Wood Elf Settlement in Illustria? Yeah, I know. <laughs> I'll to play Anno with my new GPU, and since I only have a single monitor, I can't stick around here. Well, have fun, Lars. Enjoy your new GPU. Uh, do I have a cap to this? No. Just pitch it. There we go. Nope, oh, there go the... There goes the Empire. Off murdering again. <laughs> it's walking off into an army. God damn it. <laughs> Bits of chaos. Canaris is back. Now, at last, is the time of the Lich Lord to exercise his power he has been building. Now is the time to grow the empire he has been f he has founded and show those in Camry and its surrounding kingdoms that the exiles are ready to return. So we just we just maxed out chapter objectives. You don't have exotic animals? Interesting. 
Not that I need them for short campaign victory anyway, but still. Desert Strike. Priest King of Greatest Dynasty. Uh, walls and public order. Here we go. Dark deeds. Head over to the Temple of Adioth, potentially, or we could just head up to Clara Karand. Is it Venom Glade, Circle of Destruction, and Storic Core? Right. How are we doing here, public order-wise? If I leave, is it going to be a problem? Well, yeah, potentially, I guess. Servants, Roll down to the Plane of Dogs. Glory. Grab that real quick. Arise, my legions. Rise. Kill these wretches. Kill these wretches. You. Ceremonial bandages, I guess. Land of the Don't need that. Yeah, we're at a negative four, but it, probably a bunch of this is due to ruin. Now, Devastation's only a negative one at the moment. We just need more public order buildings. You know what? I'm going to ditch this for right now. Get another public order building up in here. Back to the motherlands. <laughs> hey, guys. We've returned. Yeah, let's go check up, check out up here. I seek absolution. Gonna have to roll through Venom Glade anyway. I think Claire Caron might be their only settlement they have left up here. Yeah, that's the last. That's the last high elf settlement in the north. How are we doing for uh, provinces left for them? They have six Alariel's left. champion. So they have that one. And then one, two, three, four, five. Yep. Tomb King of Nehekara. You. Get restore. That's pretty good. That's a pretty good bash. My will be done. My dynasty. And we get Wackaf back. Yeah. Oh, and Hekenaris, I guess. I think. Right. Yeah. So we get Hekenaris and. Walk off. Let's grab out. Submit to the king. Let's grab him out. He's Not tough, to right? Yeah. Uh, okay, so he's got bonuses for Tomb Guard. Lost my talents, but somewhere. Who's this? Nimwin. Good to, uh, good to know. Apparently, you gave me an email. Thank you for the emote. And thank you for the 29 months, 7 months to the Holy Trinity. <laughs> thank you, Nimwin. I hope you're doing well. Hope all your studies and everything are treating you decently. But not only has Nimwin been subbed for 29 months, he has a tier 2 sub as well. Which is insanity. But yet, he does it. But yes, thank you. Gracing us with your presence. Let's see here. Um, hey, shit. How's it going? Okay, that's at a plus four now, so that's good. Hmm. Eh, yeah, F it. I'll just actually hang on. We'll do that instead. We can always pass those guys off to somebody else. We'll just kind of play musical chairs with our units here. Ooh, Torian Rock can be leveled up, that is. Probably should do that. And Skeggy. Let's level up the Skeggy. Coast Fortress. Can't really afford anything for that at the moment. Alright. So it's going good. They are installing fiber in my apartment today or tomorrow. I really just like having people flailing about in my home, but at least I get fiber. I mean, I'd put up with it for fiber. 
But yeah, I can understand. Obey me. Weak and feeble. Hello, Hellebron. What the hell are you doing here? You overreach. My dynasty reigns mm. supreme. Let's see. Nehekara rises from the sands. Still got a while on those guys. Cain, take you. So my concern here is that Hellebron is ridiculously strong and she might be able to kill me. King of tombs. This is She's level 25 and has all of her stuff up. Weak and feeble. Tomb King of Currently have no garrison here yet either. Hang on a second. Attend. Cancel that construction. Submit to your king. Let's go back here for the moment. If she takes that settlement, that's fine. We can just we can double back on her after she has it. It'll be safer. Overall. Alright, here we go. Some more public order stuff there. How are we doing for move? Tiny butt's still chilling. Agatep here can. Which one is he? He's a tough guy. We'll throw him into Hekenaris's army. Do I have any? Yes, your highness. Okay, yeah, I can get more of these guys too. Ooh, Cal Calvinaster, tough, aggressive. Get tough I command. and aggressive. I am my father's son. Actually, hang on. So that does more stuff. Open the casket of souls. Go. Submit. Submit. My reigns supreme. What do we got for casters right now? Oh, we get another guy as well. Uh, I don't really like Cavmaster. Brought up priests. I think some of them are just dead and coming back to life, actually. Yeah, we got a... We have at least one light caster that's yet returning. Son of Frets should be re back, or should be back next turn. Uh, over the fiber gang. I could use some fiber. I don't poop so good. <laughs> I've installed fiber into my body. Just keep him moving down there, see what's going on. We don't have any money, do we? No, we're broke as shit at the moment. How are we doing here? Good trade. Trade and taxes are looking better. Damage building is fine. Hey, look, lumber. Order. I can't remember if this strategic location gives me anything or not. Mm, I might get the Shrine of Loic out of this. So we got fiber to our houses. Like, you get gas and water. We have fiber line. Just open up and gobble some old good old fiber. Uh, Malice along the coastline here as well. Oh, never mind. Those guys just got hella crumped. So I guess I'm not going to get the Shrine of Loic then, probably. Unless I get over there in like a single turn. Yeah, get him, Empire. Get him. Can I poop again? Okay. You do you, man. I ain't got to stop you. Jealous. armies we got left running around two currently the ass is high bandwidth <laughs> you know it <laughs> 